Hey guys, it's Jamie here. Welcome to Spooky Season. I'm kicking off this month with a masterboard. The base is old envelopes and these are the results. Come and join me back in the past to create these beautiful gothic journaling cards from scraps. I'm back to do my favourite thing which is another masterboard because I already have loads of offcuts from Glorious Gothic from the little mini folder that I made the other day. Therefore I'm going to use some washi tape that I've got from last year to glue together these scraps of envelopes that have come away from other projects to create the base of my masterboard. I don't know how sticky this is still gonna be because washi tape after a while loses its stickiness, but we will see when I peel it back and see if it will actually stick things. I will probably also use a bit of Mod Podge to help it along. I can't recommend getting a proper decoupage brush enough. I resisted it for ages because they're pricey and was just using other brushes but honestly I now get why everyone raves about these brushes. They make a difference and I don't know why they just spread the glue better, they clean up better. I have a jar of water beside me and because it was expensive I do actually tend to remember to put it in the jar. What I'm going to do is peel a little bit back, put some Mod Podge down where this is going anyway so it's got that extra help. Get the first bit up as I come down, pull back the backing. It doesn't matter if it's straight or not, it's just so I don't get into a tangle. I shall make the board up doing that kind of system. My next layer will be a few Russian dictionary pages. I will continue to fill in with book page now. Here's my box of the scraps from the printables. I am simply going to add them because I'm not really sure how much I've got. I will start by trying to cover the whole board and then come back if I feel, if I have more and can get more into the board. Now we're going to grunge this up because I know that the Glorious Gothic is quite a pretty Gothic and I know that some Creator Club members want a grungy version. So I'm doing a grungy version, a pretty version, and I may even do the blue version. We're going to take three Distress Inks. This may or may not work, by the way. I've got the Ground Espresso, the Vintage Photo, and the Peeled Paint, three of my favorites. The peeled paint dabber has a, a different green on it and it seems to be affecting the peeled paint still. I do cross contaminate everything all the time. So because this is for the green witch grimoire, I will be doing quite a bit of green. Then I'm gonna go in with some vintage photo. My espresso, and this is how I cross contaminate everything. some water may well end up doing a second coat of inks we will see how grungy this goes I think what I'm going to do next which might seem counterintuitive is I'm going to add some white gesso but the way I'm going to do it I'm going to try and get it as light as possible on the brush because I don't want too much is along edges and hopefully I've got something where I can kind of tap it around a bit. What I'm not liking, because these pictures were straight cut, is they're not fading into the background like I like pieces of coloured paper to fade when I'm doing a mixed media style masterboard. Still not loving it, so even more. And now we're going to use the brayer because we'll get a stronger splatter. It's time to re-grunge. 
I'm going to start this time with the vintage photo, but remember this has been mixed with the espresso. Next stage, <laughs> sanding. It's still a little damp from the second coat of the inks and water. We're going to go down some of these edges and sand back. Now I've pulled that back, I'm feeling a lot happier. I'm sure some of you are thinking this is plain insanity, but I am loving the different textures, the fact you can see script, then you can't see script, and you've got all the different colours going through it. Going in with a layer of Mod Podge, because obviously you've got bits sitting up where it's been torn back and you could keep tearing forever. So at some point you have to seal them all down. This is looking rather yummy as it is. I do think we can do more. I know sometimes I should just stop, but I'm not going to. I've gone back to uh, Vintage Photo and I'm going to come in and hopefully highlight some of these ridges. Another layer of the Vintage Photo and the Espresso was put over this and then sprayed with water and dried. The next stage is we're going to add some napkin using Mod Podge. We have this Victorian looking napkin. Everything's now dry and we are back to sanding again. I know, I know. No, but can't have these straight edges. As a whole masterboard, this is where I'm going to stop. I'll be cutting it into tags or journaling cards, and then we'll do a bit more work finishing touch-wise. I've cut these down now, and after I cut them down, I quickly rubbed over a bit of the espresso and a bit more of the peeled paint green, which has taken most of the white out and made the colors a bit stronger. So yet another layer of inks. However, I am loving these backgrounds now. You really can't tell what it is. And to me, that is a neutral background to use some elements for collage. It's time to decorate the journaling cards with some focal points. These can be texture paste, it can be embossing, stenciling, whatever you choose to do. I'm going to do some very quick collage. I have lots of ephemera pieces from last year, sort of in size order. These ones are just larger pieces that I've just pulled out of the old box. Generally, I go with rule of three. This is a large journaling card, so I've actually taken something that's meant to be a tag, stained over the hole that was there, indicated by the maker, and gone around the edge in vintage photo, so that everything goes together. This is actually just a normal sticker of a flower. It's not necessarily gothic or Halloween. Again, I've stained the edge with vintage photo. Similar treatment for a Apoca 3 label. We'll create different layers going slightly diagonally across the journaling card. At the moment, I'm very into shiny. If you're not into shiny, use a matte medium or a clear gesso to seal your collage. I'm going to use a Mod Podge and I'm going to take advantage of the fact this is sticky and add even some gold leafy bits to this background. I want to be careful-ish not to go over those main elements. My next move is going to make it even shinier again. And I'm going to use the Crafter's Companion Spray and Shine use this in a well ventilated room and you are meant to be about 12 inches away. With the next one we're going to do a five element collage. Add a scurry around the box and because it's a big card 
I want to fill it up with different layers, different colours, ways, different shapes, some things partially hidden. I am enjoying adding these big flowers to these cards. Perhaps have the rose go over that, but then have the photo do something along those lines. I know that's not straight, but that's kind of what I'm thinking about. Is our final results. I love the shine on them. I know that's unusual. Normally I prefer a matte finish. I'm just kind of feeling shine at the moment. I love how some of this seems so faded into the background. They're just really cool. And if you look carefully, you see all sorts in that complex background to them. If you have enjoyed this video and are on YouTube, please do all the YouTube-y stuff that's so super nice and supportive. Like, share, subscribe, comment. You can look at the description for Creator Club where there are exclusive tutorials and exclusive printables and live craft events. It does help support this channel and the free Facebook group. You are also welcome to join the free Facebook group where there are free printables. It's currently at 22,000 members. Woohoo! It's a very well managed, current, vibrant group thanks to every member of the team. And I will see you next time.